and good morning. Thanks for joining us at 6.30 a.m. I'm Lindsay Adams. And this week is Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Week, and to make sure people know, a local group is getting colorful today in downtown Bakersfield. A group of volunteers with the National MS Society will be tying orange ribbons around trees downtown. Orange is the signature color of the MS Society. And this is video from 2011's ribbons in downtown. MS is an unpredictable and often disabling disease of the central nervous system. Well, all weekend long, families have braved the wet weather to learn more about the outdoors at the 37th Annual Sportsman Boat and RV Show. And although today is the last day for the event, 23 ABC's Leslie Marine is live from the Kern County Fairgrounds. It was intense fishing. That was the most exciting fishing I've ever seen. A Pennsylvania dad is battling the courts in a cross-country custody battle. He's fighting for a daughter he believed was dead, only to learn later she was secretly given up for adoption. Army vet Chris Carlton says his ex-girlfriend disappeared from their hometown, saying she had given birth to a son who died. He discovered she actually gave birth to a daughter whom she put up for adoption in Utah. Carlton missed Utah's deadline to file a paternity claim, and a lower court found he had no standing to contest the baby's adoption. You don't know her name. You don't know where she lives. You don't know who her parents are. No. And again, this is something that was preventable. Uh, if Utah will get his act together and fix these laws, then something like this cannot happen. Carlton is now suing the current office of Utah's Attorney General and two former Attorney Generals as well. Coming up, college football beatdown. The Kern County Sheriff's Department wants at-risk youth to know there's more out there than just drugs, guns, and violence. And so we're covering Kern County this morning. The Lamont Sheriff's Activities League hosted its 10th annual fishing derby yesterday at Hart Park. And hundreds turned out to fish for the thousands of trout in Mirror Lake. It also gave kids a chance to interact with deputies who were there to teach them everything from baiting the hook, catching fish, and later cooking them on a grill. With the Obamacare deadline rapidly approaching, Bakersfield healthcare workers are doing what they can to make sure everyone is covered. Yesterday, they hosted an enrollment event at the Central Church of Christ. The event provided information and a chance to enroll. The deadline to avoid a tax penalty is March 31st. Covering California, a software glitch in the state's healthcare website has affected more than 14,000 applications for health insurance. According to the Sacramento Bee, last week's glitch that had officials shut down the website, it also created problems with partially completed applications. Officials say no personal information was compromised. However, they plan to contact the affected customers and have them resubmit their applications. And the infamous Toronto Mayor Rob Ford is in California this weekend. Ford is scheduled to be a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live Monday night, and Kimmel welcomed Ford to the state as his self-appointed chauffeur carrying his luggage and also wearing a black chauffeur's hat. Jimmy Kimmel Live airs weeknights at 11.35 p.m. right here on 23ABC. Covering America, some college football players at Kutztown University in Pennsylvania are in serious trouble after a brawl with players from an opposing team. Four players are now suspended from the team, and one of them, Angel Cruz, was arrested and charged for aggravated assault after he allegedly beat two students. Last weekend, Cruz and his teammates crashed a fraternity party in Bloomsburg and refused to leave. Covering the world, who needs extravagant costumes when you have mud? Thousands covered themselves in thick layers of black mud, even making mohawks with it before dancing, drinking, and then later having mud fights. This is all during the annual Bloco de Lama Carnival Street Party in Rio de Janeiro yesterday. Participants say it's all worth it, despite how itchy that mud is. Coming up, count down to the Oscars, get a sneak peek of Hollywood's most glamorous award show and this year's nominees. Plus, honoring a vet, a local soldier is given the gift of a new front yard, his reaction, and who was behind the donation when 23ABC News returns.